All right, Walker Nation, Dave Solo back with you here at Walker Soccer Con, and I have the pleasure of being here with Jeff Kober, who played uh, Joe on the show. Jeff, how are you, sir? I'm doing well, thanks. It's great to meet you. What do you think of Walker Soccer so far? It's fun so far. A lot of interesting people. Yeah? Yeah. So, Joe is a really uh, complex character, I think, in a short amount of time on the show. Yeah. Um, I'll be the first person to say that I fell in love with the character. I loved him. I think you did an amazing job. Thank you. What was it like to be Joe on The Walking Dead? It was, it, they wrote such good dialogue for me. You know, it was, it was really a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's unfortunate that he had to die, but he got to die so well. He really did. Yeah. It's such an iconic, you know, scene from the books. They translated to the show. Um, so, you know, being Joe obviously was fantastic. I think Joe looked fantastic. That shirt, did you get to keep that shirt? I didn't get to keep the shirt, but that the shirt was like, the, the costumer had this room filled with clothes that were like, what do you think this guy would wear? And then she had that shirt off in the corner. And it was like she had hidden Easter eggs, you know? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I said, yeah, 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 and I want that one. And she, oh, and she was grateful. Yeah, that's what she wanted. And then she had these boots that, I don't know if you noticed the boots, the boots had silver on them, you yeah. know? And it was like she had those hidden among all these nasty looking boots. I said, like, yeah, you know, it's the end of the world, man. You can dress up, right? That's what I'm saying. I see. You know, Joe had the style, loved the boots, loved the shirt. What are some similarities and differences between yourself and Joe? I'm, I'm basically Joe. I, I think a tear is going to fall from my eye, the fact that you said that. Really? Very similar? <laughs> Joe is just really practical. He's he's uh, I, I'm more of a solo guy than than Joe, you know. Uh, but it, what he did made sense. If you really take on the 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 idea of that world, it's the end of the world. How are you going to survive? You got to have some rules. I'm 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 down with that. Sure. His rules would not be my rules, but it's it's not like me at all. Are you yeah. kidding? <laughs> He looks just like you, though. He looks exactly like you. <laughs> and he's a snappy dresser, which there we love. So at Walker Nation, we love all things horror, uh -huh. especially zombies. Uh -huh. What's your favorite uh, zombie or horror film? Well, this is, I'm not going to answer your question. I'm going to answer my question. There's a movie I did uh, years ago called The First Power, where I played a serial killer who comes back from the dead and with Lou Diamond Phillips. My stunt double, Tom Morga, is here today. I haven't seen him since we did that movie together, so wow. that's kind of cool. That's, that's awesome. That's fair. Everybody check that out, please. We'll put a link on the uh, on the site and in the comments. First power. Very first, scary. First power. I'm watching it tonight. I'm downloading it tonight. Last question. The zombie apocalypse hits tomorrow. Yeah. What's the first thing you're going to do? I'm just going to sleep in, man. It's the zombie <laughs> apocalypse. I mean, what the hell? Smooth. Like butter. He's going to sleep in. Thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. My pleasure.